Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kazoo here, and welcome to episode 11 of Skill Into Glory. And uh, we're gonna start today's episode off by going into the first game of this episode. And uh, we come up against a pretty strong Bundesliga team in the 3 4 1 2 formation with also Biabiani on the right hand side, as you can see, the French pacey player from the Serie A. But uh, we start things off there with Douglas Costa on the wing, cuts inside with a fake Arbona to a spin, to a scoop turn. We pass it off to Palacio, and he puts it in to make it 1 0 and give us that early lead. And uh, in the seventh minute we play a lovely ball that once again to Palacio who goes 1-1 one -one versus the goalkeeper goes for the finesse shot with his left foot and he makes it 2-0 within eight minutes so a nice comfortable lead there for us then the 13th minute it is once again Palacio on the ball with a couple of fake shots there as you can see trying to create some space we get a little bit lucky we go through we went for a finesse shot once again but this time around it is the goalkeeper to save it and the 16th minute it's my opponent on the ball that went Biabiani like I mentioned previously he is very very fast and I I knew what he was going to do, cross it over to Huntelaar, but uh, luckily enough, there was a Begovic there to, uh, to save it. And uh, from a corner, once again, a great save there from uh, from Begovic. Punches it all the way to Palacio, who goes through, and as you can see, his defenders are pretty high up the pitch. We outpace Dante, we go once again with a finesse shot, and we do make it 3-0 to complete Palacio's hat-trick. And pretty much make it game over, at least that's what I thought at that point. But um, after we made the 3-0, my opponent created a lot, a lot of chances, especially on the right-hand side with Biabiani and... I was actually pretty confused because um, Biabiani was, I think, on two chemistry because he was a right winger and he didn't even link up with one player. But yet he played very, very well. So I didn't even understand why, how, or how that was possible, basically. But uh, anyway, we uh, we move on here just before half time. We did get a chance there with Memphis Depay, but unfortunately we got a terrible touch there in the very end. And then in the 45th minute, he got this goal there with Immobile to make it 3-1 and get him that goal back. So um, yeah, we started off in the second half there with Palacio. We lose the ball. He played plays a through pass there to Huntelaar and then look at this I tried to push him off the ball but then for some reason Onua decided to grab a shirt and Huntelaar went down so the referee decided to blow in his whistle give him a free kick and also give me a red card which was not deserved at all because you can clearly see that Huntelaar was not facing the goal he was just running towards the corner flag basically and there were also two defenders left so I just didn't understand why the referee gave me a red card and to make it even worse from that free kick he got a corner and it was actually Huntelaar with a header to make it 3-2 so um, yeah at that point I was not happy because I was 3-0 up and then all of a sudden it was 3-2 so I really really thought that would maybe like give away this whole game and maybe even end up losing or something so I just want to get another goal back just to uh, to like get that comfortable lead back basically but then in the 66 minutes you don't believe it he makes it 3-3 with Immobile to get him back into the game and make it all even. And yeah, my defending was just absolutely terrible at that point. I mean, there was like one defender, I think, Kalker, who just run into a different like striker for some reason. I don't know why, but it was just so annoying. And yeah, he makes it 3-3. But then in the 72nd minute, we actually pick up a penalty with the man himself, Palacio. And it's of course him stepping up for it to make it 4-3 in the 73rd minute and give us that lead back. Then uh, in the 90th minute, we do get our final chance there of the game with Nani with a couple skin was there on the wing we cut inside there with some lovely skills so uh, we cut in once again with the spin tried to get that shot on goal but for some reason he decided to, to go to his right foot would have been a pretty decent goal I guess if he maybe uh, took the shot with his left foot but um, yeah guys that is uh, that is how that game ended my opponent had also a lot of chances during this game but uh, luckily enough we, uh, we won it this time around so um, yeah we, uh, we move on I was about to go into my second game but then I noticed I had so many players low on contracts and uh, also Palacio was injured and also Onua had a red card so I decided to switch to the Shikawi Ben Arfa and Maxime skill squad and play a game with that squad so uh, we move on into the second game and we come against a full French team with yet again Biabiani in his squad the player I just hated in the previous game so uh, it's him starting off there with uh, Diaby I do believe he crossed it over to Lacazette and within 6 minutes he makes it 1-0 to give him that early lead and a straight from kickoff we have actually the ball there with Yapi Yapo I know I play him as a cam but I usually swap him to a to a CM instead of uh, instead of Maxime but uh, anyway we uh, we move on here in the 33rd minute is uh, Shikawi there on the ball we get a little bit lucky because we do get the ball back we do get a shot in but unfortunately it was not on target once again then uh, in the 43rd minute it is once again Shikawi there on the ball with a couple skill moves two scoop turns to create a lot of space we do get a shot in but once again as well it just went off target I just couldn't believe it because usually that is definitely a goal. Uh, then the 45th minute, he makes a mistake with his goalkeeper. And again, it just went off target. I just couldn't believe it. I, I had so many problems with just 
finishing off my chance. It was a little bit ridiculous this game. But uh, anyway, we, uh, we're still in the 45th minute. It is Shikawi on the ball. I tried to get a shot in, but it was so weak that the goalkeeper like pushed it to the side. And I think it was uh, Ben Hatira in variant to make it 1-1. And uh, as you can see from the stats, we had so many shots, but only two of them were, uh, were on target. So um, yeah, that was basically the story of the first half. We were, I guess, dominating. We had most of the chances, but we just couldn't find the back of the net. And uh, in the second half, straight from kickoff, we went on a lovely run with Ben Atiyar. We do get a shot in at the near post, but a great save from a goalkeeper. So we pick up a corner, and it is Hatem Benarfa at the near post with a lovely header. And as you can see, also a lovely backflip to, uh, to make it 2-1 and give us that lead. But then, in the 67th minute, you don't believe it. Look at that for a goal by Lacazette and like I just don't know how he meant to pull that off because long shots in this game are pretty pretty difficult from uh, from what I know anyway and you can see it from a replay as well like Begovic was just standing there not even trying to save the ball so um, yeah he makes it to, to a bit of a ridiculous goal there to, to get him back into the game and make it all even then in the 86 minutes we do get a chance there with Memphis Depay I just subbed him on he decided to slide tackle me and then as you can see he actually picks up a red card so uh, we picked up a free kick wasn't really too sure what to do because um, as you can see he had a player on the line he was messing around with his wall so in the end I decided to pass it off to Tote, let the ball run through his legs and then decide to have a shot but as you can see I pressed the shoot button a little bit too early so um, yeah it wasn't really a great chance to be fair so yeah that is basically how the game ended we draw the game 2-2 and I was a little bit disappointed with this result because I really really thought that we maybe could have won this game especially if you looked at the first half so um, yeah that was a little bit disappointing uh, we move on into the final game and I think we only need three more points in order to secure promotion and six more points in order to win the title and we have three more games left so um, yeah hopefully we uh, we can pull that off so um, yeah we move on into the final game we come against this team with a few players there from the Russian league with the likes of uh, Tosic there the right winger and also Dumbia and uh, it was actually him starting off from kickoff with some skill moves there with Tosic had some problems defending them and then look at that he played the through ball there to Gervinho who was completely free and he actually makes it 1-0. You can see it like that from the from the replay. He was completely free. Didn't really understand it. Like my defenders were nowhere. So um, yeah, he makes it 1-0 to, to give him that lead. But that in the ninth minute, we get some skill moves going as well with that with Chikau. We go through with the Finia shot and we do make it 1-1 within 10 minutes. Then in the 24th minute is once again Chikawi on the ball. We pass it off to Yapi Yapo who goes through, gets his shot in there, hits the bar. And then from the rebound, we do get a header in. And guess what? We hit the bar once again. So um, yeah, he catches the ball that pretty easily with his goalkeeper threw it to one of his uh, one of his players we intercept the ball immediately with Chica we go with a one two pass with Maxime also another one two pass with Yapi Yapa we try to get a shot in but then he decided to tackle me and we pick up a penalty so um, yeah we decided to step up for it with Maxime but unfortunately his goalkeeper saved it so the score remained 1-1 so well, we move on into the second half straight from kickoff we pulled off a couple skill moves there with Ben Hatiyar we keep going through we try to get that uh, finesse shot at the near post going in it actually worked out this time we do make it 2-1 and we're back into the lead and uh, in the 51st minute he has the ball there with Dumbia pulls off a couple skill moves we do defend it but then a terrible clearance there from Rausch our left back he passes it off to Gervinho who was once again completely free and he makes it 2 2 to make it all even. And uh, you can see it uh, from the replay. The game was a little bit laggy, but uh, although it was laggy, he was like completely free. Didn't really understand that. And yet again, a couple minutes later, again, Jeffrinho with a huge chance, but then a great save there from uh, from Begovic, who, who saves us the day right there. Uh, then the 73rd minute, we do play a through ball there to Nani. And then look at that. A terrible touch there from, uh, from my opponent's defender. And uh, we do finish it off nicely with Nani, the player I just decided to sub on. Then uh, in the 80th minute, we do pick up a free kick with Hernanes we do take the shot and we do hit the bar once again this came very very unlucky and also from the rebound we do get another shot in but he got blocked off but then in the 86 minute he picks up a corner we do head it away but then all of a sudden the referee decided to blow in his whistle and give my opponent a penalty and I seriously don't understand why it is a penalty because you can clearly see that like my defenders just tried to head the ball away and then all of a sudden he play his player goes to the ground and he gets a penalty and of course scores from it as well and in my opinion it was just like absolute BS especially if you looked at the whole game we had so many chances we hit the bar three times and we just couldn't finish it off and we uh, basically should have so um, yeah that was very disappointing we only need two more points now in order to I think secure a promotion and uh, five more points in order to win the title so hopefully we can either do one of those 
in the next episode which obviously should be out tomorrow so uh yeah guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did then make sure to leave a like would be very much appreciated and if you can hit 1500 likes that would be absolutely awesome so i'd like to thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys later bye bye